What's going on, summoners? I hope you're as excited as I am. My name is Crumbs, and I'll be your host for our patch 1219 preview. This patch is the first one following the final world's balance changes, so we can expect to see riskier adjustments coming up. Off-meta builds as well as plenty of champions dying for buffs are getting some changes in the next patch, so be on the lookout. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel, as we'll provide the detailed list of changes as soon as we have them. For now, however, let's get started with a sneak preview at what's to come. To begin the video, we have one system nerf and one system buff coming up. The nerf is going to be for Eclipse. Considering that a bunch of off-meta builds are receiving changes, it's no surprise that Eclipse is also on the balance team's agenda. This item is one of the most notorious. We saw a ton of ranged marksmen use this item on release, and it definitely wasn't designed for them. Overall, it's also been gaining some popularity, so we'll just have to wait and see which direction Riot decides to take when nerfing it. For the buff, Mortal Reminder is set to receive some love. While Grievous Wounds are a valuable piece of utility, we typically see it built on other roles. Thornmail, Morello, and even Chemtech Putrefire often feel like they offer a more generous set of bonus stats, making building them hardly feel like a sacrifice. While Mortal Reminder does grant a decent amount of movement speed, the other stats are a bit lackluster, especially given that a marksman job is to deal as much damage as possible. That said, it's likely the item will receive some extra stats to work with next patch, so be on the lookout. With those out of the way, that's it for the system adjustments, so let's move on to our champion changes next. The biggest list of changes coming up are champion buffs, so let's go ahead and get the shorter one out of the way. Nerfs. Two champions are set to receive them next patch, Rek'Sai and Master Yi. Previously a low elo noob stomping machine, Master Yi is now a dominant pick at all ranks. While the sample size is small, his current win rate in challenger and higher is above 55%. I'm sure it wouldn't be that high if he was played more, but it's still indicative of how powerful he really is. The fact that elite players are happy to pick him during opportune moments is a big change from his unfortunate past. That said, he's extremely frustrating to play against, holding over a 20% ban rate in high elo, shooting out as high as 50% in lower brackets. In Rek'Sai's case, she's not doing too well in lower elo. However, she's pushing out some insane numbers at plat and higher, even in Masters Plus, she currently holds an upper 53% win rate, 10% ban rate, and a decent pick rate of about 6%. She deals excellent damage and is also one of the hardest junglers to pick fight against early on in the game. As a result, we see skilled players take advantage of her power to pick up some solid victories. That's it for the nerfs, so let's move on to the buffs. We've got a much longer list of champions for buffs, including Fizz, Udir, Ryze, Echo, Jinx, Sona, Nasus, and some off-meta builds which we'll have more information about very soon. At least from Riot's perspective, we have some big underperformers at the moment. Following some nerfs, Udir has seen a massive drop in his performance, most notably in the top lane. Following a 5% drop in his win rate, Riot is acting quickly to give him some extra fighting power so he can retain some role diversity moving forward. In the mid lane, Fizz, Ryze, and Echo are slightly underperforming, even in the jungle, where Echo is most popular, he's sitting below a 50% win rate in high elo, in spite of typically performing exceptionally well. You'd expect mobile assassins like him and Fizz to excel in the chaotic environment of solo queue, but such is not the case. Meanwhile, Ryze is just… Uh, rise. So yeah, we'll see him get buffed and then nerfed again soon, probably. Jinx is receiving a buff because she's underperforming heavily with a 48% win rate in the bot lane. She currently feels a little too risky with plenty of other laners either outscaling her or simply being too strong in the early game to let her thrive. Some buffs should hopefully make her a more competent pick. Sona is the only champion on this list that already has decent stats. She does hold over a 50% win rate in high elo, but sees this drop off significantly at very low elos. Finally, Nasus is receiving a buff. In case you missed it, the buffs he was supposed to receive in patch 1218 were pulled, so there's a good chance he received the ones he was supposed to here. That covers the buffs, so we'll wrap it up with one final champion adjustment. Syndra is essentially getting her own section. She's up for a pretty big mid scope update that you've probably heard about by now. We'll have some finalized details for you soon, but basically she's going to have her passive rework to collect an extra resource called Splinters. She'll collect these over the course of the game and begin upgrading her abilities as she does. 
kind of like Victor. As of now, this means that once upgraded, she'll actually be able to hold two charges of Q and even hit a point where her ultimate will execute enemies. This is a very scary set of changes, but I'm excited to see how things pan out for her. That concludes our 1219 patch preview. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, feel free to subscribe and also join our Discord via the link in the description below. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.